Some breaking news now. Yeah, Jerome Carvial of the road trader at Sockgen has been found guilty in Paris. Francine Lacroix is at the courthouse for us and she joins me now live. Francine, what is the very latest? Andrea, it was just in a couple of seconds ago that the judge uh, said that Mr. Kirviel was indeed guilty. Now, he says that uh, the nothing has been absolving Kirviel of the need to be transparent. He also says that he established the fraud on Mr. Kirviel's computer. So this is just the very latest here uh, from Paris, is that Mr. Jérôme Kirviel has been found guilty. Now, he was being charged with three accounts. The judge, however, does say also that the SOPGEN's computer control controls were inadequate, but there was still a breach of trust by Mr. Jerome Curviel. So that's the very latest in terms of the breaking news we're having from Paris. Of course, the hearing should be adjourned any second now, Andrea. Again, Mr. Jerome Curviel has now been found guilty by the French court in the Société Générale trading case. What we know is that he was facing up to around five years in prison, but that would be around four years in prison. And then if you speak to the legal experts, it would only actually mean two years in actual custody. But let me bring in uh, one of our experts, uh, Craig Capitas. He was one of the first writers to talk about this white-collar crime in the 1980s. Craig, now, right now, so we have this judgment. He's been found guilty. Surprise or no surprise? No surprise whatsoever. Under French law, uh, Kirviel was guilty. The takeaway is, uh, the interesting takeaway here is, is that the uh, so, uh, Society General computers were, were, were cited as some being somewhat faulty by the court. So where, wh what responsibility does, does Sockgen have, have in all this? Okay, great. I just want to stop you right there because we're also, we should be seeing some pictures of Mr. Curviel department, departing the Paris Justice right behind me. I don't know if those are live pictures, but it does look like uh, they may be, but some of the archives, we're also getting some live pictures just from uh, the Kervier uh, departure after this hearing. Let's get back to Craig. Craig, we were talking really about the fact that this was not a surprise. Now, we don't exactly know how much he's going to get, but it looks like it's up to these five years, uh, four years in the actual jail. A little bit lenient? or I mean, this is just the way things it's are. It's the way the things are here. The, the interesting part of this is Kerviel is going to have to pay spend the rest of his life paying back a substantial portion, if not all, of this money uh, that he, tr he traded away, but money which did he, he did not put into his own pocket. And this is the really, you know, big point, is that he wasn't doing this for his own advantage. I just want to go through, Craig, some of the breaking news. Um, so, Curviel has been sentenced to five years of jail, two suspended, and he is responsible for this full almost five billion euros of Sogden losses. Again, what are the French people going to make of this? A lot of them are saying, well, he's just a scapegoat for the greed of the banking system. They will say that. They have been saying that. Now they're going to be saying, well, how is this fellow going to be able to pay back these, these billions of dollars? It's, uh, it's a chimera. I don't, I don't see how it, how it could happen. But he is the, this, this fellow is now under the thumb of the French state for the rest of his life. All right, so he has now been found guilty of breaching uh, trust and also of computer hacking. I mean, if it is just that, does it also mean, you know, there's talking about him having to repay some of the losses? We haven't heard anything on that yet, but that would be huge. I mean, he'd never well, get out of it. It is. My understanding from some of the attorneys and, and legal experts we've had on this morning is that is that he will be required to pay back this money. Uh, which in many respects is worse than any possible jail sentence he could receive because uh, that would imply that much of his salary, whatever income he has in the future, is going to be done by the French state to pay off this fine. Compared to some of the other, you know, cases you've been covering, I mean, you were one of the original writers on white collar crime. This doesn't differ. I know we've been speaking about it all morning. Is that it's always for the same reason? It's agreed. But in this case, for him, it was to prove that he was better than anyone else, had a bigger diploma than him. There's a there's a saying in most trading rooms, particularly commodity trading rooms, you must have the ability to juggle without arms. Uh, Curviel obviously had that ability to juggle without arms. He made he made money for the bank, but now, uh, because of what went down, he is he is paying the price for what his bank allowed him to do. Craig, thank you so much. That's really just the latest here, Andrea from Paris. So Mr. Jérôme Curviel sentenced to five years of jail, and two of those years are suspended.